Hi guys and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We're looking at the fillet of fish. This was a request of Ellis the Mechanic, a subscriber, $4.35. And uh, I'm gonna be dissecting this today. This is fresh from McDonald's, it's still warm. And uh, we're gonna look at this and then I'm gonna be reconstructing my own version of a fillet of fish. And I may also be looking at the gluten-free version for those that are gluten intolerant. So let's get and dissect this thing now and see what we're getting. By the way, guys, here is what was uh, offered me. Here is the picture of the fillet of fish that was offered me. So let's see how that compares. I haven't opened this yet. Let's see how it compares. So what are we getting for $4.35? Oh, it comes in a uh, little box. I thought it would be in a paper wrapping. Now I put that picture up of the fillet of fish. Here is my fillet of fish. It's in a soft white bap. Okay, let's have a look at that closely. It's in a soft white bap. And I'll just lift the lid off there. Okay, <laughs> so you guys can see it. We've got what I'm told is a tartar sauce. And just on the edge here, you can see a crinkle of a cheese. That'll be just like a, a processed cheese of some sort. And in the middle there, we've got that fillet of fish in a batter. So what weight have we got here, the fillet of fish? We've got 115 grams and uh, it's about 4.1 ounces. I have to say the buns are a little disappointing, but uh, you can see they're very light uh, pappy, but that's what you'd expect from a, a McDonald's a bun. What have we got cheese-wise? I can't even really separate that. There's a, looks like a, a strip of cheese rather than a square. Let's just pull that off the bottom. Yep. It looks like a, a piece of cheese on the bottom there, which is about inch and a half wide, maybe by about three inches. A little bit of uh, processed cheese. Now the piece of fish, and it has got some cheese still stuck to the bottom of it. That is coming in, let me just make sure that was zeroed. That is coming in at 1.8 ounce. That's around about 50 grams of uh, fish in a batter. So let's, uh, let's dissect this fish in half. I'll take it across diagonally. And what have we got in there? I mean, it's a fairly, a fairly thick batter and a fish of sorts. Might try and have a look and see what uh, fish that is. It's probably a place or a cod. And a lot of the flavor from the fillet of fish, I think, comes from this tartar sauce. Now I'll try this separately, there's the tartar sauce there. Looks to have a little bit of diced up pickle. Let's give this a, a, a try. Uh, I'm getting the taste of vinegar. Definitely a pickle, a dill pickle, a little pickled cucumbers or dill pickles, and an overwhelming taste of a, a sort of mayonnaise, but a sweet mayonnaise. So there you have it, Ellis. My fillet of fish, fresh from the shop, are reconstructed here. Not sure how that went, try and line the cheese up. So I got my, my fish in there, got that little scrap of, uh, of cheese, I've got the bun. Let's have one last look at this, just cut through, through the center. There it is guys, our fillet of fish cut through. Let's give this a try. There's a taste of fish. It tastes to me a little bit like uh, like a cod or a place. Um, uh, the bread is is not good, to be honest. It, it tastes a little bit like cardboard. But anyway, so let's see if I can improve on this and make a fillet of fish. Now, it is important that I make something that tastes. It gives. I want this flavor, the essence of the McDonald's fillet of fish, but I want a healthier option. And as I said, i probably try and do a gluten-free version of this, but I'll do them in two separate videos. So tune in. Very shortly, I will be following up with the fill of the fish result and uh, a recipe for my version of McDonald's fill of the fish. Be good. See you in the next video. Take care. Ha, 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 ha.
Hi and welcome to another Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be looking at uh, pancakes and more specifically we're looking at the English pancake, a tossing pancake. Now tossing pancakes are often served around Shrove Tuesday. We have a lot 